In 2014, a helicopter was flying over Siberia when a strange thing on the ground attracted the pilot's attention. It was a huge sinkhole with a width of 80 feet and a depth equivalent to a 15-story building. The pilot looked near the sinkhole, roamed around, captured a few photos and then went away from there. However, when these photos were posted on the internet, this news spread all over the world like wildfire. Many scientists, geologists and economic researchers had never seen such a big sinkhole before, even the one which was formed overnight. The volume is so high that it could easily fill more than 10 Olympic-sized swimming pools, but it was not possible for anyone to explain how it was formed suddenly. Welcome to another exclusive episode on Rare Data TV. This part of Siberia in the north of Russia is actually called the Yamal Peninsula. Due to the extreme conditions, there is almost no population here. Only a few thousand nomads live in the entire Yamal Peninsula. And in their language, Yamal means the last part of the land. After the news of this hole in Yamal, a geologist started moving here. Although sinkholes have been formed many times in the world before, and many of them are in the middle of the lions. These sinkholes have also become visible. Sometimes vehicles are seen passing by and sometimes entire houses. These sinkholes are mostly formed due to the flow of water because the water makes the ground below weak. But geologists say that this is the reason for Yamal. Sinkhole does not look normal in any way because the border of normal sinkholes is flat and not raised and like a normal sinkhole, a part of the ground is taken out inside. That is, nothing comes out from inside it but this sinkhole of Yamal. But when it was observed, its agency was also visible and its malabar was spread far and wide. The pieces of stones were scattered over a radius ranging from 200 to 900 meters. This type of debris is seen only where an asteroid comes. It may have fallen, but the researchers did not find any evidence of any asteroid hitting inside the sinkhole. Scientists believe that this can happen only under one condition, a huge natural explosion Normally boiling lava inside the ground can produce explosions of this type. It can, but if this is true, then the story of lava or volcanic rock coming out of the sinkhole is visible. But there is no remote relation between them and the volcano. Then after all, how did this crater-like sinkhole come into existence? Some samples of air, water, and soil were collected inside it, and this time both the scientists got an interesting clue. When all these samples were tested, one thing was found in very high quantity, methane gas for cooking and heating. The methane used for this is a natural gas which is mixed with carbon and hydrogen. If it is in large quantity, then when it comes in contact with the air, it immediately flares up. Now there were high chances that this sinkhole would reach the ground. This mystery was created due to the methane gas coming out of it. Now the science was over for both of them, and they had no interest in going into the depth of this matter. Eight sinkholes found on Yamal Peninsula. Itself, all these sinkholes were made in such a manner as if an explosion had taken place here. When seen in the satellite image, it was found that after 2014, one after another sinkholes are being formed at a rapid pace. Scientists are now becoming increasingly concerned about people. But what was even more disturbing was that all these sinkholes are forming with the climate change. There was a huge connection. Sinkhole was first built here in 2014, and the very next year a record temperature was noticed in Siberia, and all the other sinkholes were also built during this high temperature. From the beginning of the 19th century till today, the whole world, the average temperature of Earth, is one degree Celsius, but the speed of increasing temperature in the Arctic Circle is double. So now scientists are forced to wonder what is the connection of these lion holes with climate change and what will be the future of the Earth if these holes are discovered one by one. On one hand, deep research was going on on the sinkholes of Yamal, while on the other hand, in the Arctic Circle, far away from Yamal, another team of institutions got to see something unique, which may perhaps be the most important link in solving the mystery of the sinkholes. There is an icy article near the northwest coast of Alaska which according to the locals is behaving like some minnows. Bubbles are coming out from inside the icy lake as if the water is speaking. A team from the sign place is searching for this mystery. 
When it reached here, samples of these bubbles were taken, and it was found that these were also just methane gas. Leaking of methane gas is a very common thing in the Arctic. But the surprising thing about how was that every day from this article 10 tons of methane were being released. This was the first time in the entire Arctic region that so much methane gas had been released. The research team decided to go underwater in Easy Lake to see the source of methane gas, although Easy Lake is three feet deep. But from the place where bubbles were coming out, that place was very deep where it was not possible for divers to go, hence with the help of Sundar scanning. A 3D model of the ground was made under the Easy article, and it was found that the place where bubbles were coming out was the article. It can be as deep as 50 feet. On one hand, methane gas was being said to be the reason for the formation of sinkholes in Yamal. On one hand, methane gas was being said to be the reason for the formation of sinkholes in Yamal. Both these locations are in the Arctic Circle. And there is one thing more common between these two, that is that both these locations are present on such a layer of land which is called permafrost. It's called the layer of land which is completely frozen from inside. This is a land spread over a very large area, which includes a large part of Russia, Canada, and Alaska. Recent research has revealed that due to an increase in temperature in the Arctic Circle, permafrost has now started melting. If human-made structures standing on the ground along with mountains, rivers, and forests melt from inside, then it is very difficult to imagine what will happen as a result. Proof of melting of permafrost, Alaska is 600 kilometers away according to the article. Hidden in the woods near Foxtown, this forest is also located above permafrost. Where locals have noticed that the side of the forest has suddenly tilted to one side, it seems as if the strength of these trees has become weak. Inside this clue, the sound of falling water is continuously heard, while there is no water fountain nearby. This big change has not been happening for many centuries, but the question is to understand what is the connection of the melting of permafrost with methane gas and the sinkhole of Yamal. Then a tunnel was dug inside the permafrost in Bank, Alaska. What is seen inside this tunnel is that along with the frozen land, animal structures are also jammed in which thousands of years old grass is also preserved. This is evident from this. It happens that there is a very high quantity of organic peas inside permafrost. You all know that there is carbon inside all the organic peas. As the plants grow, they absorb carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. And when these during decomposition, some of this carbon is released back into the atmosphere. But due to the freezing temperatures in the Arctic Circle, the process of decomposition is very slow. So over the course of thousands of years, many organic peas are now inside permafrost. It is preserved, that is, their body has not yet been composed and carbon is still present inside them. Experts believe that the amount of carbon that is inside a permafrost may not even be in the picture of the whole Earth, hence due to global temperature rise. As the permafrost is melting, the organic peas-like fossils present inside it are also getting composed. Bacteria eat their carbon for their energy and then release methane gas in return. Apart from this, due to the melting of permafrost, the land is also getting destroyed. It is becoming soft, and now the methane gas trapped below it does not have to face any obstruction in coming up. The gas easily makes its way into the moist soil and deviates out from the weak points of the surface. These lion holes are a species of this gas. This is the reason why the number of these sinkholes in the economic circle is increasing day by day. According to the experts, no solution to this problem has been found till now. No matter how much we control global warming, permafrost can't be stopped from melting. Thank you for watching Rare Data TV.